Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Leo May 17, 2022. All this is thanks to your house 10, the house of success. The sun has your ruler, which from the sign of Taurus will allow you to materialize your projects and improve your economy from your profession, so you can feel calm that today you will be having good fruits that you have generated from your good personality and passion in what you do in your profession. The deep and mystical energy of Neptune in Pisces from your 8th house is going to be transforming you very intensely from your emotional center, so it is possible that you will be feeling with many ups and downs throughout the day. Have confidence in these processes and you will see that little by little things settle down and take a good course. Saturn and Jupiter in the sign of Aquarius on couple issues in the 7th house will be informing us that your interests are mainly in mature, wise people who have a solid and concise belief system full of revolutionary and innovative ideas, well, these qualities will undoubtedly be the ones that are captivating you and the ones you prefer for your partners. Mars in Cancer in your 12th house is going to give you very unstable and even violent emotional streaks, making you moody for no apparent reason, be aware of it and meditate for at least 20 minutes. A day and you will discover that those angers can be controlled from gratitude, patience and tolerance. A day that could well be filled with various and varied surprises. Things may not go exactly as planned. Don't get all worked up if your schedule is messed up. Be philosophical and take these changes on the bright side. The best thing is still not to be stubborn and to have a good heart against bad luck. It might even be nice. Take full advantage of the unexpected events of this day. Sagittarius in your fifth house indicates that you are going to enjoy the company of people very dedicated to their professional passions and that they spread that passion in their talks, you admire the dedication of these types of people and their wisdom is something that will undoubtedly give you butterflies in your stomach. A wind of madness hangs over you today, and you are not immune to a stroke of luck. Go ahead of others, of novelty, let off steam and don't hesitate to cross the oceans if necessary. Trust your heart, your instincts, they will show you the direction to follow to fully blossom. Pluto in Capricorn advises you to renew the routines you have at work, it is time for you to change the way you usually do your work and stick to what is most effective, practical and essential and leave aside the unnecessary and cumbersome because this way you will be much more efficient and you will avoid wasting time. You're in the mood to show off today and hit the stage and do a little number. If you spend the day with your family, you will clown around to amuse the gallery. No one is as good as a Leo at being a comedian. You've been working a lot lately and it will do you good to have fun today. Let go. Take great care of your mental health by avoiding excessive workloads that you may be having, as Pluto in Capricorn can corrode your nerves in such a way that you may have a panic attack or headaches. Organize yourself well and maintain good work structures by keeping a strict schedule in such a way that you will avoid stress and you will be able to maintain a calm working day. You are not going to feel very comfortable today, dear. Perhaps you are going to think that the situation is similar to the one you experienced two months ago, as if you were stuck in your initiatives and deprived of liberty. However, things have changed, you no doubt know where the efforts must be made now, to find financial stability no doubt and not to set ideals disconnected from reality. Virgo in your second house connects through its ruler, Mercury in the eleventh house. Therefore, this tells us that it will be very beneficial for you to maintain good relations with the people with whom you live in your social clubs and associations to which you belong, since a friendly treatment and being especially helpful will give you a good approach to them who will feel very empathic with you and will choose to consume your products or services. You are radiant today. You will wake up with a host of inventive and original ideas. You will want to compose dishes like poems and invite your friends to dinner as one invites to a vernissage. You will sprinkle a few touches of color to brighten up your interior. You are full of playful and aesthetic inventions that will command the admiration of your guests. Don't forget to serve them a little something to eat. Our eyes in the sky. Yesterday was the lunar eclipse in Scorpio. This luminary forces us to embrace our inner rebel and defy the status quo. 
The eclipse pushes us to open our minds and understand the truth of all matters, no matter how strange it might be. It's essential to embrace change and growth and allow yourself to take charge of your life. Expect the unexpected and accept the strange events or emotions that are headed your way. You're the leader of your pack, which means that you have a lot of influence over others. Now you can use your popularity for a good cause and organize a local protest or charity with your squad. With your long contact list and Saturn's influence, your humanitarian endeavor can be successful. Your friendship circle is evolving and changing. It's important to note that you're not growing apart from your besties, you're transforming the way you connect with those you care about. Pluto, the modern planetary ruler of Scorpio, is heavily influenced by this eclipse, so we can expect a lot of power plays and personal evolution. It's time to be the person you were born to be. Just after midnight, Ceres, the asteroid of nurturance, enters Cancer, stoking sentimental impulses. At this time, we support others by being hospitable. However, this protective ideology taken to extremes can cause our nearest and dearest to feel smothered. Grief may play a prominent role in our interactions now. We should be mindful of our attachment to the past, to nostalgia, and to tradition. The prime error under Ceres in Cancer is offering assistance when it is not asked for, then becoming hurt because our utility is called into question. Instead, we should ask others what they need and judge emotional availability as the key component of care. The last time Ceres transited Cancer was mid-July to late September of 2017. Look back to this period to take note of similar themes. At dawn, Venus conjuncts Chiron in Aries, stimulating insecurities in matters of the heart. As with all Chiron transits, the only way out is through, and confronting old love wounds is the antidote to perpetuating heartache. We now achieve healing by reassessing our intrinsic worth. This aspect can especially trigger a reminder of how we have denied our desires to appease another, unaware that our uniqueness was what made us attractive in the first place. Now we are encouraged to share ourselves authentically to attract healthier relationships and regain our self-esteem.